Hi, Deb Horn again with We Buy Houses, and today's uh, video is a little bit different format than the prior ones. Today we're going to talk about handling phone calls, and so we're actually going to listen to some sample calls. You guys, you wouldn't believe how many people are just dropping opportunities on the floor because of poor handling of phone calls. So we're going to look at two kinds of calls today. We're going to look at voicemail, the right way and wrong way to do your voicemail, and we're going to look at live phone calls. Same thing, right way and wrong way of doing that. And so enjoy uh, the, the video today. I hope it's very informative. I'll be back after the phone calls and we'll wrap it up. All right, the calls that you're about to hear are based on a real case study that we did for one of our clients. Um, they basically thought they weren't getting any calls, but when we looked at our records, we saw that they were. So we did some recordings to find out exactly what was going on, and this is pretty much what we discovered, both the, the before and after, I'll say. So the first call that you're here is uh, a person has received a postcard. The postcard says, We Buy Houses on it, and they're calling the number, and the call will be answered by a voicemail. Now, we don't think voicemail is optimal. We really think you should answer your calls live, but if you can't, uh, voicemail is an option, but do it properly. This first call you'll see is what happens when voicemail is not used correctly. So let's see what happens and listen to the response from the home seller, the caller. Hi, this is Bill. Sally and I can't come to the phone right now. Please leave a message and we'll get back to you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Um. All right, did you notice what happened? Did you hear the big click? You see, the problem is, and we saw this in our recordings, the caller did not know that they had reached the, the proper number. They, they're calling We Buy Houses, and the voicemail sounds like they reached uh, somebody's house, <laughs> literally. Uh, and so they hung up, and, and that's exactly what we saw in a lot of our calls. 80% abandon rate when the call was answered with a personal voicemail message. So 80%, you wanna lose 80% of your calls? Just uh, send them to your personal voicemail. Let's listen to a voicemail call that's handled properly. Thank you for calling We Buy Houses. We're not available at this time. Please leave a detailed message with your name, phone number, and property address, and we'll return your call as soon as possible. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, my name is Sally and my number is 817-678-2345. The property is located at 957 Glenview Drive in Irving. Zip code is 75061. It was my mother's house and she has passed away. Wow, big difference, wasn't there? In that call, even though it was voicemail, which is not optimal, it was it clearly stated we buy houses and the connection was made the caller was calling we buy houses they heard it on the voicemail and what did they do they left the information that you wanted they, you got the lead now let's listen to two calls these are going to be our live calls the first one is handled improperly let's see uh, what happens with this uh, live call gone wrong hello uh, I received a postcard. Is this We Buy Houses? Do you buy houses? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. What can I do for you? I want to sell my house as soon as possible. Can you help me? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hang on, let me find a pen. Uh, I'll be right back. Wow, did you hear that? The caller was confused. She wasn't even sure that she had reached the right place, and then even... When the guy kind of said, yeah, yeah, sure, that's us, you know, she still was hesitant. You could see that, uh, hear the hesitancy in her voice. So let's listen to that same call now handled properly in a live scenario. Thank you for calling We Buy Houses. This is Tony. How may I help you? Hi, Tony. This is Sally. I'm trying to sell my home. Can you help me? Absolutely. Where is your property located? It's at 957 Glenview Drive in Irving, zip code 75061. I inherited this house last year and my mother has passed away. Well, there you go. A live call, answered professionally, 
the connection was made between the We Buy Houses brand on the postcard and the We Buy Houses uh, greeting that was that she heard when the call was answered. And what did she do? She immediately went right into telling her information, talking about her house and her situation. That's exactly what you want. Well, that was it. Pretty interesting, right? It, you know, if you don't handle the call right, you can drop up to 80% of your incoming calls. They'll be abandoned because people, as you saw in the calls just then, sometimes the caller didn't know if they had reached a business. They certainly uh, couldn't make that connection between the name that they saw, the brand name that they saw in the postcard, and then the way the call was answered. You know, you can imagine if you called uh, any business, a Century 21, uh, a broker, or a McDonald's or something, if you called any business and they didn't answer the phone with the name of that business, you'd think you'd called the wrong place, wouldn't you? Well, that's exactly what happens. And so uh, handle your calls right, you guys. Don't drop these perfect opportunities onto the floor. Hey, we hope this was informative. Stay tuned in. We have a lot more exciting videos coming. Exciting if you love marketing, which I do. But uh, tune in and we look forward to sharing the next one with you very soon. Thank you.